A very good day to everyone. I am Dr. Pooja Rathi from Department of Dermatology, Venerology, Leprosy, Narayana Medical College, Nellor. Today I am present here to discuss about World Leprosy Day. World Leprosy Day is observed every year on the last Sunday of January, but in India it is observed on 30th of January as a tribute to the life of Mahatma Gandhiji, who had great compassion for the people affected with leprosy. Leprosy is recorded as one of the oldest diseases in the world. Leprosy is caused by the bacterium named Mycobacterium leprae. It is also known as Hansen's disease, which is named after the scientist who had discovered it in 1873. The incubation period of leprosy varies between 5 to 7 years, which means that the bacilli multiplies very very slowly and so the symptoms of the lepra bacilli can occur anywhere between 1 to 20 years. It is important to know about the facts and myths related to leprosy, as leprosy has a lot of myths added to it. Leprosy since ages has been described a disease of sin or curse, which is absolutely false. Shaking hands, touching or passing by the side of person who is affected with leprosy can transmit the disease are all absolute myths. These myths create social stigma and discrimination among the people who are affected with leprosy and which eventually leads to a delayed diagnosis. Leprosy mainly affects skin and nerves. It can also affect the mucosa of the respiratory tract and even the eyes. Lepra bacilli has predilection for the cooler parts of the body such as hands, face and feet. If a patient of leprosy is untreated, it may lead to complications like facial palsy, trophic ulcers, deformities such as sunken nose or even neuropathy. It is important to know about the transmission, the high risk groups and the symptoms of leprosy. How is this disease transmitted? The disease is transmitted by coming in contact with oral or nasal secretions of the person affected with leprosy. Who are the high risk groups? The people who have dysregulated immunity like people living in poor social conditions or having poor nutrition or having any immunocompromised state are prone to develop leprosy. What are the symptoms of leprosy? The leprosy symptom varies which includes light or skin colored patches with decreased sensations Leprosy patient can also present with numbness or paralysis of hands and feet. In long run, there might be presence of trophic ulcers or deformities as well. Now, how to diagnose leprosy? Leprosy diagnosis is based mainly on clinical examination. Apart from the clinical examination, skin slit smear and biopsy play a major role wherein the bacilli can be detected. Leprosy is classified into posse and multibacillary based on the number of lesions, the number of the nerves involved and the presence of bacilli in the skin slit smear. Coming to the treatment part, WHO standard regimen of treatment includes the use of multidrugs. These drugs are rifampicin, dapsone and clofazamine wherein the dose and duration of the treatment depends upon the patient's age and the stage of disease. These multidrugs can kill and cure the disease. Yes, you heard it right. It can cure the disease. Now the question arises, is the disease preventable? Yes, the disease is preventable. And the best way to prevent the disease is prevention from coming in contact with the nasal or oral secretions from a person affected with leprosy. Other methods are by giving vaccines to the patients and by giving prophylactic antibiotics. Every year, WHO comes up with a theme for World Leprosy Day to eliminate leprosy. And this year, in 2024, the theme for World Leprosy Day is to beat leprosy, which includes the dual objectives of first, to eliminate the stigma associated with leprosy and second, to provide dignity among the people who are affected with leprosy. As once the stigma is created, the fear sets in. Because of the fear, there will be delayed diagnosis and because of this delayed diagnosis there will be delayed presentation and so development of more deformities and disabilities. So to conclude it is very important to create awareness regarding leprosy so as to reduce the burden of it and also to live in a leprosy free world. Thank you.